Hello and welcome everybody to this series of Crusader Kings 2, Sheik of Mecca. We're doing this one as a live stream. Earlier today we finished off our Astarius playthrough, which was a hell of a lot of fun even if we didn't complete what we wanted to do in it. It was a solid 50 episodes, brought down by bad succession and inheritance, as uh, doesn't everything go that way. Um, because this is a stream, I'm going to name all kids after people in the chat, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to stream this every single Tuesday for a long ass time, and all of it goes up on YouTube after. If you're watching this on YouTube, link in the description to the playlist of the series, as well as my Twitch TV page where you can watch it live. But I don't want to waste too much time. We're starting in the early stage. We have every single DLC that's out for the game, and if more come out during the playthrough, I'll get it. Um... Paradox always sends me their DLC and stuff, which is cool. So, the last series was pretty much no political intrigue. We were Asterius. It was pretty much all external wars. So I thought this one, we're going to focus entirely on internal stuff. We're going to be the Sheik of Mecca, who's this guy here. Now, the real difficulty of this, we have a potentially very, very wealthy county. I mean, it's Mecca. We have multiple castles and uh, mosques we can very quickly and easily get, and we're on the Silk Road, so we can make a trade route despite being inland, which is so awesome. However, our Duke, I don't remember in Islam what the actual rank is called, we'll see it in a second, but we're essentially a count. Our Duke is not our religion, and if you don't do something about that really, really fast, chances are he's going to fabricate on you and wipe you out. So, uh, let's hope that we don't uh, get our asses kicked immediately, and let's hope that we don't roll really bad stats. So, yeah, you can see load rules here. All I do is I turn off cultural title names, which is, it just makes it so every, by having that off, every county is named in English no matter what culture rules it, so I can actually read it. And Aztec Invasion off, because Aztec Invasion just ruins the game. Another fun thing, though, is our last playthrough, we didn't get to do anything with China, because we weren't in the range. We're in the range from the start this time, so we get to have some fun uh, interacting with China. Alright. Here we go. Uh, so this one is going to be Stream... Oops, stream Mecca. You can see I was, I was doing some test runs of this to make sure it's not going to be shit. I played like the first like 30 years a couple times just to see like what are my challenges early that I might need to worry about. It's always a little different each game. But okay, so here we are. We're the Sheik of Mecca. What are our stats like? We're like all military and stewardship. Okay. So we are brilliant strategist, which is the best military education. I'm pretty happy with that because... Um, we start off being able to take some counties over here, and if we're way better at military, then we might be able to pull it off. Um, we're paranoid, so we're going to think murder plots are around us all the time, even if there aren't. Um, and our intrigue is up a little bit, which I wouldn't mind a little intrigue. Deceitful, diplomacy down, intrigue up. That's a mixed bag. Content, I get piety. Piety's pretty nice for... Uh, if you're Muslim, because I'm pretty sure you can do some things without the help of decadency, which is a real problem that you need to worry about if you're Muslim. And we're just learning stewardship. All vassals like us more. Not that we have many vassals, but that's pretty good. So, uh, our liege, Emir. Emir? Emir? I'm not sure. He's our duke. He controls a lot of land here. And, uh, he's gonna be a pain. Uh, because he is Shia. We're Sunni. He wants us gone, but his liege is the Caliph, who's Sunni. It's pretty much a guarantee that our liege is gonna get kicked out at some point and replaced with someone who's Sunni. So we don't want to just go Shia forever. What I probably want to do immediately, like, I could convert to Shia, lose a bunch of prestige. I'm just gonna falsely profess to be his faith. The second we have a hundred piety. How much do we need? Yeah, a hundred. We might not get it in time, we might just insta-lose. If so, we just go right back in. It's not actually that difficult to get it fixed up. Okay, we need to pick our ambition. Um, build a war chest is never a bad one to start with. How old are we again? We're 40. Okay, we want a kid right away, so groom an heir to get fertility. We have 
pretty much no one to pick from for wives to the point that I... And I, I one of the wives there too would get me a non-aggression pact with this guy who I actually want to take land from. He's got a bit more troops than me right now. Um, so we just have this castle. And uh, don't worry, I'll be reading the chat a lot very soon. I'm just kind of, you know, getting things set up here. We want the Mosque of Mecca. We also want this castle. Because they're two things that we can control. Uh, an interesting thing about being a Muslim in this game, you know, as a Christian, you could only control a castle, and if you had anything else, you'd have, like, a detriment to it. Muslims can also run mosques. So they can have mosques and castles. And our domain size limit would allow us to have both of these. Now, I believe the automatic guy for this has no heir. Yeah, his heir is me. So before he goes having a kid, uh, I want him to die. We already have pretty good plot power on this guy. We're gonna need more. Can I get the other one more easily? No, definitely not. Okay. We'll have to take care of them at some point. Um, and we want to... Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. We will get a random woman. She's not amazing, but I'll take her because she exists. And we just, honestly, we just need someone to marry. So that we can have kids. Yeah, her. There we go, we're married. We can have kids now. Uh, gotta get that wife before getting the babies, exactly. Um, title loss on succession eggs, we have no kids. Um, we gotta recruit a court physician, that's true. Oh god, our spy master has a skill zero. Yeah, uh, I, I, I would like an actual spy master. We're gonna take this guy instead. Um, I could have him help assassinate as much as I'd really like to study technology just because it's so good. Uh, the assassinations are more important, so we're building a, sc a spy network in Mecca. Make sure the doctor isn't a mystic. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, oh God, I, I hate kicking out powerful vassals like this, but when we're this week, pretty much everyone's a powerful vassal. Um, we got some real crap people. I think very few people would be willing to join us right now. Yeah, not many would be willing to join us at the moment. Uh, I mean, that's only one higher skill. Come on, why is it the the one guy we don't want to replace the passable imam is uh, the only one who's not a powerful vassal here? That's just our luck. I'm, I'm fine with our grand vizier. He's actually not bad. Okay, let's just switch him for him. Get us some money. Perform charity. All right, perform charity. You might not be familiar with because that's specifically a um, Muslim one. Local, local revolt risk is down. There's also a chance of impressing vassals, which is kind of like statecraft. Um, and then, you know, some negative things. He could pocket the charity money. He could get trampled by a mob. And gaining piety is a pretty common thing I can get out of it. Uh, we want to train troops. Do we want to train troops? We don't need need the levy size. So you know what? Organize army. Hopefully we'll get some good commanders out of it. And I think I'm cool with statecraft right now. We'll want to fabricate claims later, but for now, statecraft. We'll try and make our vassals really like us. And, uh, yeah, I think I do want to actually do the task of recruiting a physician. We don't want to go to Mecca yet, even though we're here. So you'd imagine it's not a very long trip. Uh, thanks for all the bits, by the way, everybody. I really appreciate it. I mean, we could go war focus and have a whopping 20 marshal, which is really not bad. We could possibly take out that guy early with it. Assimilate power. Assimilate? Amass? I guess they'd both work. You know what? We're actually going to go war focus. All right. Um, and if I were to train troops on top of that, I might end up with more troops in this guy. I just want to make sure that I have a passable commander first, because I doubt I do. No, these are crap commanders. Yeah, these commanders are just garbage. Alright, we want to falsely uh, confess 
or profess our religion the second we have a hundred piety there's a chance we might just die before that uh it can happen it's not even that unlikely and before we go doing anything else we want to build up uh, a very small amount of money that we acquire so that we can build a trade post here because that's where pretty much all of our money is going to come from through a decent chunk of the game. All right. Okay, uh, resides doctor. Okay, for 10, that's not bad. How old is he? He's 51, so he's probably got a long life ahead of him. He's a renowned physician. He's got decent learning. Boom. I'll do that. I could also borrow money from the Jews. That wouldn't be a horrible idea. Just because it would let me get my trade post right away and it would also give me mercenary money in case of an emergency. Okay, wife's pregnant. That was fast. Good. When I go with a mystic doctor. Oh, yeah. I can't think of any problem with having a mystic <laughs> mystic doctor. I almost said daughter. Uh, Caliph, we're gonna get notifications of the Caliph making emirates constantly. This just, he does it a lot for whatever reason he thinks that's the most important thing in the world. Is Mecca one of the richest places in the game? It can be, definitely, because it's on the Silk Road and the Silk Road is worth so much money. Grand Vizier made one of the mayors like me more. That's good. All right, first kid is going to be a uh, scary school. Again, I'm going to name every single kid after the first person that I see in the chat when I look over to my right. So there we go. We already have our first kid born. It's a daughter. Now, I believe daughters don't inherit with this law. So, yeah, it's open. Yeah, pa most powerful son of the ruler su uh, succeeds, or succeeds, rather. Though uh, older... Other powerful sons are likely to intervene. It's very popular with your children, except for the oldest. Yeah, the rest of the dynasty who approve. Also approve. Only males can inherit. Yeah, the problem is only males can inherit. However, it's generally considered a very strong inheritance type. Another emirate. You might notice the UI is a little bit smaller than it used to be. I'm just on a bigger monitor now. It should look pretty nice for you guys, though, because it's, um, I mean, it's like, uh, 1440p. And, uh, then it's brought down to 1080 for you guys, so it's gonna look really crisp and nice. Text is probably gonna be very small for you, though. Uh, so you might want to full screen it, uh, if you're not familiar with a lot of these, uh, notifications and whatnot. Okay, we can become shy or gregarious. I mean... I definitely don't want Shy, it's just losing diplomacy, whereas Gregarious is a very strong one. Of course, I didn't get Gregarious! <laughs> Alright. Uh, we need we need more kids. We're still trying to get an heir here. So, keep having kids. Now, we can have more wives. Uh, in fact, having more wives gets you more... Oh my god, look at all these like zero-year-olds. Jesus. Um, who's most talented with money? You! I want a second wife. No, I think only the first wife gives you her stats. Whatever. We need another wife. There we go. We now have two wives! I believe you can have four uh, total. Now, they're gonna try and kill each other a lot. That's the problem. Sometimes they'll try and kill your sons and stuff. It's awful. Can't see the text either way. Yeah, I kinda assumed it would be like that. That's the pain of doing the streaming thing, but... I have the overlay for many, many good reasons. Um, I don't know if you want to get me to get into them right now, just because you'd probably find it uh, absurdly boring when you'd rather just watch the game. But if people want to know, I can say. Um, court Imam, yeah, Court Imam just made somebody happy. One of my vassals. Uh, sorry, what are you controlling exactly? The Mosque of Mecca itself. So you're the guy I'm trying to kill, right? Yeah. Which means my plot power is actually really good with you. I can I can kill you. Okay, sweet, because I want that. Hope I don't become a known murderer. That would suck. I really need more piety. Let's go ahead and our liege. We're going to mark him as interest. Now, I really want him to like us so he's less likely to do shit to us. We can't send him a gift. Okay, it would be too much money. 
I could always try to improve diplomatic relations with them. For the sake of my own survival, I think that's something I should do. Because again, he's almost definitely trying to fabricate on me right now. Can you assemble a harem of murder wives to help you assassinate everyone? No, they'll try and assassinate my sons. That's what they usually do. Is there going to be a lot of internal problems in this playthrough, isn't there? Yep. Uh, no, Emirate of Arabia was made. Okay. Can I see... What is that exactly? That is just this. Okay. My land... I'm actually... I'm curious. Holy shit, that guy controls a lot. Um... I want to see my land is de jure part of what exactly? Kingdom of Arabia. Um, Abbasid Empire. Yeah. That. Okay. So it doesn't go all the way up there yet. Okay. Just making sure I understand everything. Daughters are safe, right? I mean, they could get murdered. Pregnant, please be a son. I don't want to have to restart the playthrough this early. I don't know. My acquaintance, whatever. Um, I don't want to... Oh, fuck. I totally forgot to get the trade post. Sorry. Um, I don't want to restart this... Okay. What's this? He hurt my relations with a mayor. Okay. I'm happy it was with a mayor and not with my liege. Let the infight begin. Uh, daughter's safe, right? Like, like I just said a few seconds ago, they are also likely to get assassinated. Um, oh god. Marshall wants to do research on military technology who costs 30 ducats. Normally, 30 ducats would be nothing, but again, right now, every ducat counts. I'm gonna say no. Sorry, normally I would. Isn't that your wife, not an acquaintance? It said acquaintance. No, it's not my wife. All right. Oh, you had another daughter. Uh, fuck everything. Fiery Dylan. Sorry, I almost couldn't read what your name was because it's in dark blue and I'm on a black background. There you go. Had another daughter. Hope this doesn't get me killed. Uh, Institute a title revocation allowed in Arabian Empire. Whew, that's not gonna go well for me. Why does the wife even want to kill others so much if they, uh, do they want solo wifing privileges? Basically, pretty much. It's usually the second, third, and fourth wife want to kill the first wife more than anything to become the new first wife. Okay, good. We've made this guy like us more. Anything we can do to keep him from plotting on us. What do you miss? Not a whole lot. We just made him like us more again. Holy shit, that was fast. And very, very lucky. He actually likes us quite a bit now, considering we're different religion. He's not a zealot, is he? He's not a zealot. Good. I have had him random spawn as a zealot before, and that was just instant death. He just immediately, like, warred me to take my only land. There we go. Trade post is done. So this is where almost all of our money is going to come from. We're going to want to upgrade the shit out of this. Unfortunately, we haven't killed this guy yet. Um, I really want to kill him, though. Any day we could put through the plot to kill him because it's over 100%. Alright, how's your military? Because the thing is, I can declare and conquer this guy. Yeah, we'll lose two piety per month while attacking. But I can get that war over with quick and easy. But he's got more troops than me. So, my income has more than doubled. Uh, 11 of my income was from my my castle. I'm now getting 17 from my trade post. So, I've more than doubled my income through that. You can see I'm being pulled into a ton of wars. I wish I could scale the UI better for you guys, but there's not really a whole lot I can do for that unless I were to change my whole screen's resolution. You'll notice the screen is just going to be sitting right here for a lot of the game. Um, I could zoom out and look at things if you want me to. There's not gonna be as much to look at in terms of, like, m armies moving around. Because, um, 
a lot of this is going to be political intrigue. What's the point of pushing over 100%? The higher above 100% you are, the more often you'll have attempts on the person's life. Yeah, 100% really just means you will occasionally attempt to kill the person. Um, dangerous plots in the world. Someone's trying to kill my first wife. I'm paranoid though, aren't I? Yeah, I'm paranoid, so she might not actually have a plot on her. It's entirely possible my second wife's plot didn't kill her though. Permit me to remind you of your obligations, duties as sworn vassal for him, uh, to form a conspiratorial faction to be in direct violation. He's warning me not to go into a faction because he's probably afraid of this increased council power faction. Believe me, I don't want to increase the council power because I want your title at some point. Um, okay, because I'm content and just, I can do two things. Um, he likes me, and you decide to be best to comply. Okay, so I can only comply with him. And both of them... Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's not the honorable way of doing things. Both of them have the exact same result. That's pretty funny. Didn't you get a plot in Austerius with the power of, like, 600? Yeah, something like that, like, immediately at the start of the playthrough. He's trying to kill a little kid, and not only did, like, all of my vassals agree, but even his regent agreed. And we failed to kill him about eight times. Um, who is this guy that you, you want me to kill? He is Shia. Oh, he's the heir to my liege's throne. He's the only heir, as far as I can tell. Oh, no, never mind. The, the line of succession. Right, 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 because open. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, decline. I don't want to get caught doing that, because then he'll hate my guts. And I don't want him to hate my guts. Hey, my liege died, and my new liege is still Shia. Fuck. <laughs> this one doesn't like me as much. God damn it. Mm. Life sucks. He's got food poisoning. He could die. He's got a severe illness. Wait, if he dies, who's it go to? Another Shia. I just want someone who's Sunni to be in charge. We almost have enough piety to falsely profess our faith. Yep, we're a count. Well, a sheik. A particularly heated argument in the council. Sheik qu 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 quis say? I don't know. Stepped in as you are about to make a fool of yourself. He was able to argue for your point, not only saving face, but also winning the argument. It's obvious that blank smooth talking was the sole reason for your success, and denying that fact would put you in a bad light. I'm not giving the fucker a favor. Oh my god, general opinion down by 25. Oh man, no, I would rather give you a favor. I hate giving out favors, but I'd rather give it a favor. Oh god, I don't like that random event. Are we fucked now? Like, game over? Fuck no, we'll probably be okay. Uh, my wife's pregnant. Oh, but I have the paranoid trait, so of course he thinks she's cheating. I don't care, as long as I have a son. No, I'm not paying money to find out. All right. I haven't been paying attention to my ducats, sorry. I'm gonna be worse about paying attention to the game just because I'm also trying to pay attention to the chat. I'll warn you now. Um, Silk Road trade post is worth so much. Increases the w the trade route wealth as well as the trade value. Rudimentary trade offices helps with monthly prestige. Rent new size, which is nice. And technology spread, which we don't actually gain tech right now because of our rank. And then lots of garrison size, which gets our garrison from 100 to 400, and some more trade value. I'm gonna take Silk Road Trade Post first. As you know, uh, trade posts usually have to be on the coast and along a major trade route, or you need to be a um, merchant republic to, to build on an e-coast. But because we are along the Silk Road, if I go to this, we're on the Silk Road right there. In fact, if we start eating up a lot of this land, it'll become incredibly wealthy. Oh, is the did the Jewish kingdom down here already get taken? Looks like it. Yeah. There's usually a little Jewish kingdom. It's like right here and here. You can see Jewish Ethiopians, but they already got conquered by the looks of it. By some Maya Fizzite, which is usually what happens. <laughs> 